Okay, I've had a number of questions uh, regarding how to run the scripts I wrote for uh, the N900, my Pi game scripts. Uh, and here's an example here. Here's a video I posted up on uh, YouTube. It is the uh, 3D Globe program. And uh, basically, it's just a tar file that you extract and, and run the script. Uh, most of them will run on your desktop computer as well. They're cross-platform as long as you have Python and Pygame installed, which on the N900, I believe both are installed by default. I know Python is, and I believe Pygame is as well. Um, so here's the video. If you come down to the description here, there's a download link that has the uh, tar gz file. Click on that. Not only does it give you an option to download, but it also brings you to my Python script page, which I really haven't updated in forever, but has a uh, bunch of the scripts I wrote for the N900 here. Uh, I can choose to save the file or just open it with the archive manager, which is the default setting. I don't need to download the file, I just need to extract it, so I'll just open it with the archive. Okay, so here's the download window. It opened up this, there's the tar file. I'll double click on that and it will open up the files for the script. And uh, basically, I'm going to show you how to install it onto your phone from the computer because it's easier than just doing it on the phone although basically it's the same steps on the phone I'm going to uh, create a folder here I'll just call it globe for this one and I'll open that folder all I have to do is select all these and drag them over and we're good to go at this point I can just run the script I got two scripts here the 3d globe and 3d globe uh, ACC that's for the accelerometer I don't have an accelerometer on my computer so I'm gonna run the one that just is controlled by the mouse cursor so on the phone you would control it with your finger and at this point I can just double click that and in most distributions for security reasons will give you these options you can cancel run run terminal and display cancel obviously is cancel display will open it up in a text editor and I recommend anytime you download a script and it's not from your repositories it's from a website uh, have a quick look at the script this one's very, very short. Make sure it's not doing anything malicious. As you can see, and glance through here, it's not doing anything malicious. We'll close that, double click it again, and I'll click run, and it opens up the program here. And I can take my cursor here, and as I move my mouse back and forth, you can see it rotating the globe, just as it would on the phone. I'll close that. And the other option here was run in terminal. Basically, it opens up a terminal screen here, and you can see the output of the program in the terminal. That's really good for uh, any errors, that any error messages that might be displayed there, help you troubleshoot stuff. But for the most part, you can double click and click run. Or you can open it in terminal, the folder, and just say dot slash and the name of the script and run it. Type in the full name of the script and run it. And that's the same as basically running it in terminal. And basically on the phone, unless you're going to create a desktop icon for it, that is how you run it once you copy it to the phone, dot slash the name of the file, and hit enter. Um, basically a dot slash is saying the script is inside the folder that I'm running it from. So anyway, other things with this code anyway, I added the uh, Blender file, which is how I created uh, the globe images and under images is just a list of all the images because it's not really a 3D globe in this case it's actually just a series of a hundred images or 99 oh, actually a hundred because I started at zero uh, of the globe animation so uh, that is how you run it on your computer and to install it on your phone now if you plug your phone into the computer using USB uh, it will mount your documents directory and you can copy files that way the only problem is your document directory on your phone is a fat partition which means it doesn't recognize permissions so if you copy it to the phone that way uh, and then you go into your phone you can't do the dot slash and the name of the code what you would actually have to type is Python and the name of the code so I want to make that clear if you're going to copy it that way using USB. I'm going to show you another way is basically I can come up here to my location bar and I'll type in SSH colon forward slash forward slash uh, the username of my phone which on the N900 by default is user at and obviously your, your phone has to be connected to your network to do this 
and the IP address to your phone, which is going to vary. You can look that up on your phone. I'll hit enter. It will normally ask for username and password. I've already logged in, so I didn't have to type that in. And I just go to my home user directory. I can create a folder. I can just copy that globe folder over. I actually already have the script here and ready to go. And now, as I said, I can go on my phone, open up the terminal, and type dot slash and the name of the script. I obviously have to be in that folder of that script to do that. And uh, if you did put it in your documents directory, either move it to your home directory or go to that directory in the terminal and type Python and the name of the script instead of dot slash. And that's just a permissions thing because they uh, used a fat partition uh, for that documents directory. And they mainly did that due to a lot of people being uh, Windows users and Windows is very limited on the uh, the formats partitions uh, that it can read from. Uh, luckily in Linux we have freedom we can read any partition uh, pretty much all partitions I know of that are commonly used the FATS, NTFS which are the ones that Windows uses mostly don't remember the name of it but the Mac partitions and uh, then then you got all the ext two three four and and some other ones so luckily uh, we're Linux users and we have freedom to do whatever we want unfortunately because most of the world is Windows users we have partitions like this on the phone which are fat partitions which is a very old outdated partition but because Windows li users are limited they had to do it to make it compatible with everybody so now that I've preached a little bit um, that is basically it uh, once again we'll grab another uh, file here here's a bounce tar, that tar uh, GZ I'll click on that I'll open it I'll create a folder I'll call it bounce in this case I'll open it copy the files over and double click once again, you can look at it, make sure nothing suspicious is going on in that script. My scripts are all pretty short. Double click it and I will run it. Oh, and uh, I have two screens going, so that's why they're going off the side of the screen there. Uh, but that is um, a little program where that tux icon, there's two of them bouncing around. Normally they'd hit the edge of the screen, but once again, I'm running two screens here, so they're going across over to the other screen. And I'll hit escape to exit out of that. So you can see how easy it is to download and untar these and it's the same steps on your computer since the phone's running Linux and your desktop's running Linux it's the same steps. Uh, there's really no difference other than you have to look out for that fat partition uh, in the My Documents directory and working with permissions there. Well I hope this helps some people and I hope you all have a great day. Visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials. There's my 900 telling me I got a message. I'll talk to you guys later. Talk to you guys. I'll do another.